the tax foundation report came out, and I, and I saw this on our website, that New York State is the worst state to do business in with taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, you come from a, a very prominent family and had a, a very successful business. They had the talking phone book, and mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, a company that did very well, and you have, have done very well in business. How do you, as an elected official, look at that and say, how can I change this? Knowing very well that you can do business and do very well in New York State, but others are struggling like terrible. It's very hard to have a business in New York State. You know, honestly, with our business, you know, we started in Buffalo. We kept our headquarters in Buffalo. But the reality is a lot of our success came from our operations that were outside of New York State. And unfortunately, a lot of businesses that are here don't have the ability to, to move beyond the state boundaries to be able to open up their businesses. So it is a real problem. And, it, and I saw that report this morning, and it is disturbing to see that. The reality is, is why do we charge taxes? So that we can pay for government. If our government continues to get bigger and more bureaucratic and more bloated, we're going to need more money to sustain it. What we need to do is shrink the size of government, and that reduces our, our need for tax dollars. Uh, there are some initiatives that we've taken, uh, you know, property tax cap uh, that we passed a year and a half ago. Okay. That certainly will help with the property taxes. Uh, you know, and then there's other issues that we still need to take up. For example, workers' compensation costs. That's a huge cost to businesses, and we want to make sure that we get that under control because that's a big deterrent to businesses being able to be successful.